And the last thing I'll bring up, Rico, I don't know if you saw this at all. Mm-hmm. Oh, but Wale Africa, I believe is his name. Yeah. Is that his name? Okay. He had a master class on the psychology of the divide that goes on between black Americans, FBA, ADOs, mm-hmm. and the diasporian immigrants, you know, like the children of immigrants. Mm -hmm. Um, from Africa, from the Caribbean, things like that. Oh my gosh, he broke it down. He broke, he gave examples of the different people who were like the Tariq Nasheeds, and I think there's an event Carnell. Yeah. And then he talked about several different immigrant things and how we keep getting pitted against each other in this competition for Mm -hmm. the scraps of white supremacy and capitalism. You know, he did talk about the dynamics of the difference between the white supremacy and capitalism and how it's making us play against each other because we're mm-hmm. fighting for the same bottle, you know? Yep. So, I mean, he had it. Go ahead. He's a he's a really good uh, dope content creator. And the funny part about it is that was the second part. Because it's like yes. African immigrants upset with black Americans. He did the first part. He just basically flipped it and should we care? Are black Americans fed up with African immigrants? And like you said, the, the brother's very intelligent. I don't know what his background is. I think he's yeah. super intelligent. Uh, he comes with facts, the receipts. Yeah. It's not just a bunch of stuff. And I was actually in the chat, but I had a dust up with one of his mods. So we're going to have a talk about mods and the uh, abuse of power when you give them the wrench. You know, hey. uh, 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 um, I, I know that's your thing, you know, but I'm, that's my gang. Misfit mods, baby. Misfit <laughs> mods. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because it was kind of weird. Um, I mean, I was only in there for about a minute, and then I ended up leaving the stream because I was like, I don't even want to get into it. Uh, it was kind of weird because I think it was a misunderstanding, but I was like, okay, he ain't going to come at me that way, so I'm going to go ahead and just bow out. Uh, mm-hmm. It was really a misunderstanding. I don't know where he got that. I came in on some gender war stuff. I'm like, talking about you know because uh, it was basically you know uh i'm a wale it basically it, it, he basically got into a little bit of the uh the political voting structure and they were in there saying that you know black people are more conservative and i just said mostly black men because black men do lean heavily conservative but black people as a whole we lean more we lean conservative in certain things obviously religion sexual orientation but we're very liberal when it comes to drug policy criminal policy and so on and so forth so it's not a set in stone and i think it's more of a divide black men are very much i don't even know why they're so conservative because i'm like even when we were very conservative it didn't work for us very well um anyway uh and i don't think we need to be as liberal as i am either but i'm like we got a bigger crumb in liberalism than we did in conservatism. But the guy just kind of like got stuck in me. I was like, that's not a gender war. That's just, I'm big on politics. I love politics, I'm a political junkie. And I was just trying to get, and I was just in the chat. I was doing your thing. I was doing my, get my chat troll on. Yeah. And he came out with the wrench. I was like, okay, man, you can have it. I'm gone. I'm not, I'm not going to do this with you. Uh, but I, I can watch it on the replay because like I said, he's very good. Uh, he done some great things.